CLNS Media Patriots Roundtable. I'm your host, Nick Qualia, sitting here with Mike Molino and with Marv Azan. It's 2020. Number one topic in the world all year has been COVID. I go back to this a lot. I've been listening to some different podcasts, especially ones that go back to like March, April. I was listening to, uh, to, to Joe Rogan's podcast from, I think it was April or May. And they were talking, it was him and I think it was Tom Segura. And they were like, yeah, we might not be able to do any any comedy shows for like six months. What's that, September or August? And I was like, guys, if you only knew. <laughs> if you only had a clue. <laughs> so COVID is still running rampant. And obviously with the Patriots, uh, the game was pushed back to next week. The Patriots game originally got pushed back to Monday, 5 o'clock, which... I mean, I know it's Columbus Day. I still hated the thought of a 5 o'clock game. The game would be happening right now. We record this on Monday. But the Patriots-Broncos game has been pushed back to next week. Next week was supposed to be the Patriots' bye week. So, right? Or am I wrong on that? It was supposed to be the bye week. It was. And the Broncos were supposed to play the Dolphins, but the NFL said, Dolphins, screw yourselves. Go play uh, another week. So, it's Patriots-Broncos next week. And no COVID-positive test today. On Sunday the 11th, there was a COVID-positive test uh, with the Patriots, so they shut down the facility again, even though they were allowed to reopen, and Bill did not let the Patriots go back into the facility, so he had at least the smarts and and the caution to be able to be like, okay, maybe we shouldn't go back in just yet. Good move on Bill's part. And the, the Patriots are essentially trying to avoid becoming the Tennessee Titans, who have had at this point a million positive tests. So... Guys, the question is, because there's been some back and forth, especially on the Twitter world, whether or not the Patriots or the NFL, rather, made the right decision in pushing this game back. And that even goes back to last week. So, guys, the question is, did the NFL make the right choice in having the Patriots play last week against the Chiefs, even with the positive test with Cam Newton? And did they make the right choice in pushing this game back to next week against the Broncos? Mike, let's start with you. What do you think? You know, it's it's really hard to say if they made the right choice or is it the wrong choice. Because, you know, honestly, at the end of the day, the NFL is going to find a way for teams to play no matter what. They'll play Monday through Friday if they have to. They'll choose a random – we'll have a random Wednesday night football if need be, uh, the way the NFL looks like it's operating right now. People um, keep asking, is this season gonna is this season going to be shut down? The NFL owners no. will never let this season shut down. No NFL, chance. Not happening. We just saw, you know, the NBA season wrap up. You know, baseball is making their way. And NHL season's wrapped up. There's no way the NFL is going to be like, oh, we're, we're not going to be the ones that's going to shut down. The NFL is not going to allow that to happen. You know, I'm sitting here thinking the Super Bowl might not get played on February, the first week of February, whatever it usually is. The season will extend possibly as long as the NFL needs it to extend for it to happen. They'll play 23 weeks of the regular season. They'll do it. They they don't give a damn as long as they can just have their season happen and say, hey, look, we figured it out. We never had to shut down. We just, you know, move things around, ship some games around. But we were able to get through our 2020 or whatever season, the COVID season. The, the NFL will find a way to make it happen. Um, You know, I guess the only good thing that comes out of the NFL moving the Patriots game to next week is – you'll probably have Cam Newton back. It's looking as if, you know, I think from the reports I've heard, you know, he's not showing any symptoms. He's feeling better or, you know, I know he has to be tested a few more times and they have to come back negative. But if everything goes well for him and the team, you know, the Patriots will have their starting quarterback uh, Sunday at 1 o'clock versus the Broncos. So, I mean, that's the only real bright spot that comes out of it. I don't like the fact, and I know there's nothing that teams can really do about it, but – you're, you're, in a sense, just making up teams' bye weeks on the go. And I, I don't play in the NFL, but in my mind, you know, players see their, their team schedule and like, okay, I got a bye week, week six or whatever. Maybe they make plans to be with their family or do different things. All of a sudden, you wake up Sunday morning getting ready to play, and the NFL is sending out news. No, this is your bye week now. You got to play next week. Now, now this week's your like Melvin, Melvin Gordon was pissed. Melvin Gordon's pissed. I'm sure a lot of other players are pissed who have been mm -hmm. voiced on social media. Like, it sucks. It's putting a lot of players in a tough spot. I mean, at the end of the day, it's their job. This is what they have to do to make money. Like, but it's putting a lot of players. I just think about the players right now. It just puts a lot of players in a tough position. But 
it's wild times right now for the NFL. But again, they're going to make this season happen no matter what by any means necessary. And, and that's the thing. Like, like social media keeps overreacting every time there's a positive test. Oh, the season's going to get canceled. This season's done. There is no chance. I don't even know why we're acting surprised. I don't know why anybody's acting surprised that there are positive tests and why everybody's why there are people thinking that the season's yeah that this the the season's going to get shut down. We expected this. We knew that there were going to be positive tests throughout the season. They're just going to have to. They're not going to let the season not happen. There's so much money on the line. There's no chance that they shut this season down. They will figure it out if they have to figure it out. So, Marv, throw the question over to you. Was this the right decision? to change the this week's game to next week? And was it the right decision for the NFL to have the Patriots end up playing the Chiefs last week with Cam Newton being positive? So with coronavirus, something I think, when we can't sit here and say we're coronavirus experts, but we've seen a lot now to know that this thing is unknown. It's the unknown. You don't know what's going to happen. And NFL constantly finds themselves behind the eight ball instead of being proactive they're reactive they wait to find out who's positive and who's got tested and then then they're like okay let's move let's move it here tentatively on monday and if it doesn't work we'll move it to next week tentatively and we'll just keep trying to push things back and hoping for the best instead where it's very simple you extend the season you we are going to have you know week 18 week 19 week 20 we're going to have three weeks where it's going to be makeup games. Maybe even two weeks. Maybe three weeks is too much for me. Maybe two weeks. Week 18, week 19, we're going to have <clears throat> makeup games. All the type of coronavirus games that we missed, bye weeks, whatever, we are going to make them up in the last two weeks of the season. So all of a sudden, right there, now they're being proactive. They have, they have a, an area where they can just go and say, boom, this is what happens when you have coronavirus. You shut down. And you move. It's simple. It is such a simple thought process. I, I'm no genius. I'm I'm not in the business of the NFL, but I I know it's a better solution than what they're doing. You like Mike said, you got you you're messing with people's personal lives right now. Yes, it's a business, but people have plans. They have a schedule. If you release a schedule, you expect to go by that schedule. Now, a coronavirus happened. You should be able to tell players right away. This is the plan. Okay, this game is going to be moved to week 18. This game is going to be moved to week 19. Be prepared for that. Get quarantined and so on and so forth. But there's no plan. Everything's reactionary. So to answer your question, Nick, no, I don't think the the NFL in a whole is making the right decisions because it's just being they're just being reactive to everything instead of trying to be in front of the eight ball. Zero All right. Plan. No plan. That's the key word right there. Plan. No plan from the NFL. Well, they've never had a plan. Remember, like, at the, at the start of this, everybody's coming up with their own game plans. NHL was like, bubble, NBA, bubble, MLB. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. The NFL was like, we're playing football. We're just going to act like coronavirus doesn't even exist. We'll test you, sure. But they have no <laughs> game plan here. But I'm just confused why they would play last week and not this week. I mean, they had the same amount of positive tests, right? Or am I wrong on that? They've had they've had a couple Patriots tests pop up here and there, but I don't understand why it was okay to play last week and why it wasn't okay to play this week. That just doesn't because make any sense. Last week, last week they thought it was a good idea, and then when the Patriots started complaining, it was like you guys made us freaking play with no practice, go the day of at Kansas City. They're like, oh yeah, that might have not been a good idea. Like they're not thinking things through. They're just hearing different ideas and saying, oh yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we should have done this. Maybe we should have done that. And it shouldn't have it shouldn't have gone into this point, and it's frustrating. Well, I, I think another factor is it was Patriots Chiefs. I think they care more about that game than they care about the Broncos Patriots. Agreed. That's also huge too. That's, so that's, that's a marquee that's, matchup. That's a great point. I think I think that's probably got a pretty heavy factor in why they decided to move this game. Because even even with the Patriots playing next week, Broncos Dolphins that doesn't that doesn't do it for anybody. So we'll see whenever they even play that game. Just moving the Patriots game to next week, I think I think that is the right move because I think it gives time for this thing to hopefully get out of Gillette Stadium as long as everybody is starts being smart. Who knows how people got this because this is such – I hate this narrative that people who – that some players who have gotten COVID, like there are some people who are saying like, like acting like this is their fault. You can get it from anywhere. 
You can go out to a yeah. restaurant, be as cautious as possible as possible, and still end up with this thing. So to act like these guys are being stupid, I mean, th- there are some guys, like especially in the MLB, who are being stupid going out to clubs in Miami who got it. That's a different story. But you can get this thing, especially here in Massachusetts, where we're pretty strict with what you can and can't do right now. You can still go out and get it just by even going to the grocery store. So I hate that narrative. But they made the right decision in moving this game to next week. Ideally, they shouldn't have played last week's game either. But they did. Was it the right move? No, probably not. But this is the right move to move this game to next week. Absolutely. All right, guys, anything else before we wrap? One question. If it was Patrick Mahomes instead of Cam Newton who had the who had COVID, are they playing that Monday night? No. No, not happening. Absolutely not. Patriots are playing a doubleheader football game. <laughs> <laughs> That is what they would just, have done. Just, just, wanted to, just wanted to put that out there. That's all. No, absolutely not. They would not have played that game. All right, guys. CLNS Media Patriots Roundtable. Nick Qualley, Marvazan, and Mike Molino. We will be back next week following the Patriots and Broncos game. We're recording next Monday. So we will be back Tuesday, Wednesday. Hopefully these episodes get out whenever they get out as early as possible. Our producer Garrett's been killing it. So shout out to you, Garrett. Nick Qualia, Mike Molino, Marvazan, guys, we will be back next week. Thanks for watching.